I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin, author of three books about using succulents in gardens, containers, and landscapes. In this video, I'll show you how to plant candle lanterns with succulents. You can find candle lanterns online, in home accessory stores, and in thrift shops. The look we're aiming for is that of a cloche, a term for treasures under glass. It dates back to the Victorian times and France when people used cloches to display or protect special plants. You also might call my succulent lanterns hanging terrariums. The pyramid has a lovely geometry to it, and so does the aloe. Just, you know, to pick up the same exact tone of green, nice repetition there. This is Sedum hernandezii. I don't want any dirt showing. And I'm just going to use regular pumice. Pumice is always good. It absorbs excess moisture. I should be getting a commission from the pumice people. I mention it so often. Okay, so now what you're seeing through the glass is the pumice and not the dirt. Sedum aurora, which is a beautiful plant. And that's going to get tucked in there too to add a little color. Fine black rock just to add another layer that'll show through the glass. Oh, I like that, yeah. You have to be very careful with the leaves of succulents, but not so much with their, with their root balls. This white rock on top of the black rock to add some more striations. You know, I love how these pebbles are um, repeating the, the leaves of Sedum aurora. And it doesn't look so special, like a treasure under glass. Now you may be wondering, well, does it drain? You know, it probably leaks. <laughs> and leaking is all I ask for. I want it to leak. Raise your arms. So, we want it spilling. Gently slide it in. Planted lantern with a cascader. And, you, of course, you keep the door open. Water it from the top down or just spray it every so often. It doesn't need very much water and it'll just continue to cascade and look pretty wherever you put it. composition is about circles within circles and so that's the design concept here and you know it's just one of those serendipitous things that I noticed when I was at the nursery and hey you know look at that how perfect that is. Add fairy lights to make real lanterns that make a great tabletop display look good hanging and add magic to your succulents. Light diodes on Copper wire, come with a little battery pack, you have to add batteries. Kind of the fun thing to do now with a lot of crafts. I stuffed the lights down at the top, attached the battery underneath with uh, duct tape. To make sure the switch is <laughs> where you can get it. Fairy lights are available at any craft store, easily found online. 